finally. I was just beginning to think that this film straight up didn't exist. first independent intelligence agency. Refined but brutal. Civilized but merciless. Welcome to the club. Very clever. How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel and time for another episode of Luke's Reviews. On today's video we've got another big blockbuster that has faced countless delays over the past few years. But I was fortunate enough to get a preview ticket to a screening of The King's Man. Set during World War I, The King's Man details the origins of the infamous Kingsman Agency. When war is officially declared, it's up to the Duke of Oxford, his son Conrad, and their trusty accomplices to uncover the real mystery of who is pulling all the strings to try and destroy England once and for all. I'm a huge fan of the first two Kingsman films, especially The Secret Service. It's one of my favorite films when it came out in that year. Um, and I was definitely intrigued to see the beginnings of the Kingsman Agency, to step back in time and see how it all came to be. Did it deliver and, and was it worth the wait? Well, yes and no. I found the Kingsman to be a bit of a mixed bag. But you know what, let, let, let's start off with my positives. Matthew Vaughan continues to be one of the most exciting action filmmakers working today. The kinetic energy that he instills into every single action sequence in this film is outstanding. The choreography is really impressive, as is the cinematography, because they use the camera to make it feel like it's part of the fight as well. And there are also a number of decent performances too. Look, it was always going to be a difficult act to follow. Colin Firth defying all expectations and proving that he can be a badass as well. But you know what? Ray Fiennes, I thought, did a really, really good job as well. He may not reach quite the same level as Colin Firth does as Harry, but he's he's good in the film as the Duke of Oxford. Uh, he throws down when he needs to, but he does, he does still have that iconic Voldemort yell that he does, and he does it a lot in this film. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma Arterton was also great as the sweet natured, but don't fuck with her because you'll blow your head off Polly. And Jomon Honsu was also good as the loyal manservant. However, I wish that we could have taken the time to explore more of who he is as a character. He's very underdeveloped. But the biggest scene stealer of them all is Reese Iffen's as Rasputin. My word, this is, uh, this is a performance. He undoubtedly gives it 110%. It's not going to be for everyone. I don't think some people just won't vibe with it. I liked what he was going for. It is crazy. It is ridiculous. He is going ham, but I thought it was, it was stupid enough that it worked. However, though, this is where we stray into my, my main negatives with the Kingsman, uh, and that is tone. The first two Kingsman films had great action, but they were also very funny and a little silly, but its tongue was always firmly planted in its cheek. Here, Vaughn opts to take a bit more of a serious approach, which is perfectly understandable given uh, the details surrounding the First World War. You can't exactly make that lighthearted and fun. But... Outside of all the, the World War One action, the vital ingredient that I found completely missing was fun. The first act of this film is actually quite bad. Stilted dialogue, rushed exposition, and jumbling itself up in actual history that I never felt like a cohesive plan was really put in place. It's only when the Kingsman stuff is introduced that the film begins to find sheer footing, but in doing so, still can't master this tonal balance. And I think it comes down to the story 
feeling like a bunch of movies rolled into one. It starts off as a family drama, then dips its toe into an espionage thriller, then kind of derails and bizarrely transforms into a straight-up comedy at one point, then goes back to a family drama, then travels over to the Western Front for a straight-up war film, and then we head back to an espionage thriller. But there's never any glue to bind them together. It almost feels like you're just flicking through like to your TV channels for different programs that are on. There's never... It never comes together as a whole. It's not quite the sum of its parts. And by the end, you feel like the film has been very blocky, or, or dare I say, a little untidy. Another problem I have with the film is the character of Conrad. He's kind of boring. I didn't think that Harris Dickinson brought the same level of charm that we've seen from Taron Egerton as Eggsy. But I also think it's due to the character jostling it out with the Duke of Oxford to decide who is the lead protagonist of the film, whose side are we meant to be on, and the movie definitely takes its time before that's revealed to us, and I think it actually hinders the film in doing so, because you just have these two story arcs fighting it out for screen time, and then neither of them really are fulfilled by the end. I had high hopes for The Kingsman, so it doesn't bring me any joy to say that I was left a little underwhelmed. The story never came together for a whole, and never found the right tone to carry it along for the two hour plus runtime, but Matthew Vaughan more than delivers on the action front, with a surplus of dazzling action sequences that left me sufficiently entertained. Just not all that impressed. So I'm going to give The Kingsman a 5.5 out of 10. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on The King's Man. Let me know, are you looking forward to seeing this film? Let me know also once you've seen it, what did you think? And leave your thoughts in the comments below. And my question to you, pretty straightforward one of the three that we've had so far, what is your favorite Kingsman film? Me personally, I've still got to go with the first one. There was nothing quite like seeing that church scene for the first time and being quite literally blown away. But that is all we have time for here, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hello! Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to click that like button, and if you aren't already, click that subscribe button too.